Hello and a very good morning dear today we are starting our another session of science we are starting chapter 3 fiber to fabric in this chapter we will learn how fiber is converted into fabric fiber means the raw material which is obtained from plants or animals and the conversion of this raw material into fabric means into a form which is usable by humans means the clothes so we will discuss the process of fiber and converting it into fabric starting from first natural fiber as the meaning is clear from the word natural fiber natural means nature and fiber means the thread as the threads or means the raw material for fabric which comes from the things which are made by nature such as animals plants insects etc so first one is wool and wool which is comes from sheep yak goat etc they have hair on their body wool is made by the hairs which are taken from the animals wool is used as fiber to make fabric because it is poor conductor of heat so which keeps the body warm in the cold or in the winter so wool is a fiber which is taken from the animals like sheep yak and goat as they have hairs on their body means the fiber which is made from the animals or the hairs of the animals we used to take wool from these animals what's the reason the reason is that this wool is very good conductor of sorry the poor conductor of heat means this wool do not allow the heat to pass through and if these types of fibers are used to making fabric then these clothes will not allow the transfer of heat from the body to the atmosphere so it keeps the body warm the first process is shearing the process of removing hairs from the body of animals to get wool is called shearing this is done in summer which allows animals to survive without the coat of hair on body as shearing is a process of removing the hairs from the body of animals as shearing is done in summer only the reason is that as humans need to capture heat near their body in the winter in the same way animals also feel cold so that's why they also need hairs on their body so shearing is done mainly in summer because in summer as animals and humans both don't need heat to near their body means they don't require any heat as there is too much heat in the atmosphere so it is the reason that shearing is done in the summer season the uses of wool is you are carpet shawl and etc means the wool is used for making carpet and shawls the next is scoring that after shearing scoring is done as the hairs from the body of animals are taken then they are scored means washing of sheared hair and removing of dust and dirt is known as scoring as the animals here are very dirt and dust on them so removing of this dust and dirt particles from the hairs the process is called scoring means clearing of hairs the next step is sorting selection of different types of hairs is called sorting sorting means the selection of small or large size large size hairs from one another the next step after sorting is dyeing the sorted wools are dyed with different colors as there are only single colored means without color hairs are present on animals body 
means some have white some have black colors or different colors are there so these are colored according to the human requirement or according to the demand so these sorted wools are sorted hairs are dyed with different colors the next one is sericulture what sericulture the process of rearing silk worms for obtaining silk is called sericulture as sericulture is a process of rearing silk worms on the mulberry plant we can say the silk worms are reared on the leaves of mulberry plant so the steps of wool production which are discussed are shearing scoring sorting dyeing and after these four steps the last step is rolling means converting the threads into roll means we can say to collect them at a single place so two questions are there the first one is define process of getting wool from animals in detail the second question is define sericulture the third one is give examples of wool producing animals